As demonstrations continue protesting police use of force, one specific call for policy change has been gaining traction, the 8 Can't Wait campaign. The campaign tells the public to ask their local leaders to put into place eight specific policies to end police violence in America. Data and research from Campaign Zero suggests these policies result in fewer officer-involved deaths. The 8 Can't Wait campaign says Austin already has three of these policies in place requiring officers to give verbal warning before using deadly force, requiring officers to intervene to stop excessive force used by other officers and report it to a supervisor, and requiring a use of force continuum that restricts the most severe types of force to the most extreme situations. The campaign says Austin has not required officers to exhaust all other options before using deadly force, banned officers from shooting at moving vehicles in all cases, required officers to report each time they use force or threaten to use force against civilians, banned chokeholds, strangleholds, and other neck restraints in all cases, and required officers to de-escalate situations when possible. Police leaders have a different view. I believe we have the spirit of all eight of those in effect. The spirit, but not always in writing. Austin Police Chief Brian Manley sees all eight areas addressed in his department's current rules, but says APD is working with the Eight Can't Wait campaign on specific language. To ensure that our policies, particularly in the one involving using a firearm against the vehicle, uh, are consistent because again, we're unfortunately living in a day and age when people are using vehicles as weapons, driving them into crowds. So we do have to maintain that ability to keep our community safe if that were to happen. Manley also says APD already does not allow chokeholds unless there's a deadly force situation, but the policy will soon be updated to directly say that. That still does not line up with what the campaign calls for and what multiple Austin City Council members want to see practiced in Austin. We are in a moment where people are galvanized and want to see their local governments respond and they want to see us respond immediately. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News.